Hello, just wanted to uh, talk about the uh, annual eclipse that's happening right now. Um, this is a video, live video feed from New Mexico. Um, if I go back one, uh, California, it's already moved over through the annual eclipse, which shows the ring of fire. Uh, looks like New Mexico, which is approaching from this side, is just about ready to get it. Um, this is actually coming from slu.com, um, which you can go to and watch this. Um, something they are going to be showing on June uh, 5th is going to be the transit of Venus. Not sure exactly what happened there. I wish they'd get that back in the center because it's almost right in that I'm talking on a video right now. Um, so it actually is moving almost to uh, the annular point. I hope they get this back in the center to actually show this. Um, but what we have is an annular eclipse. Two weeks ago we had a supermoon. Um, which in an elliptical orbit, um, this is not an elliptical thing, this is a circular thing, but imagine sort of if it was pulled out this way. Um, the Earth is sort of off-center, so the Moon was closest to it, which means it was bigger than normal, and now as it's moved about two and a half weeks over to the new Moon Sun, it's smaller, so it actually doesn't quite fit the entire Sun. So this is called an annular eclipse. There, they moved it over. This is an annular eclipse um, showing you the moon um, covering up most of the sun, but there's a part of the sun that goes all the way around. This is totally cool, and like I said, this is live. This is an hour and 36 minutes into um, the whole process. Um, you can go back. Grand Canyon has lost its feed. Um, this is one from California, and again, California approached from the, the bottom, so it's actually moving off. Um, they just talked about these tips. Um, actually, I can go to their live feed, which is right here. Asteroids, whatever's happening out there in space, SLU will cover it, but obviously it takes membership. And they do want you to join. Um, so this is this funds the feed. They actually have two um, doctors. One actually from Astronomy Magazine, the other one from the Solar Research Mullard Space Center um, in the UK. Um, but they've been actually talking about this thing the whole time. Um, it would be really cool to actually watch some of this stuff. We do have an August 2017, I think it's on the 21st, solar eclipse, which is going to. Uh, let me see if you can, can we make this a little larger. Um, if you watch this, Salem, Oregon, POW, Stanley, Idaho, Casper, Wyoming, Grand Island, Nebraska, Columbia, uh, Nashville, Tennessee, uh, Columbia, South Carolina. That yellow line is going to be the totality. It's going to go through there. This is, again is August uh, 21st, 2017. Um, they go through this site. Um, you can see this is uh, shadowandsubstance.com, um, which shows lots of eclipses. There goes Salem and Stanley and Casper and Grand Island. Um, you can see that 80% totality. So here in Virginia, right about there, we should be somewhere close to 90%, 88, 87%. Um, I am going to try to be out here in Wyoming or Nebraska, where it tends to not rain a whole lot. Um, and sit right on that yellow line if I can get there to watch this. Um, this, this is going to happen again um, in August 20, uh, tw August 22nd, 2017. If I go back to this one, um, um, there that was a totally cool view. Um, this is a little bit past the totality, um, but it is a totally cool view. Um, I am updating um, up on my uh, Facebook site. Um, I'm up updating pictures. Uh, if I go back to my home page, you can see I've been updating pictures uh, quite a bit today, um, as well as the uh, from the website um, showing you the August 2017. Um, there's the doctor from Britain. I went on a bike tour today. Um, here's where it just started in the, in the New Mexico. Um, here's where it just started in the California feed. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Bye.